So, <clears throat> I'm curious about fuel pressures. This is a I-93, and it's got a stock fuel pump on it, stock fuel filter. Um, so I decided, well, I got a cheap 15 PSI gauge and a kit of copper plumbing. So I just replaced the stock vacuum sensor there, which is on the outlet side of the fuel filter. And just ran the line up, zip ties, and a gauge. So, yep, it clears. There's plenty of room there, so it's not crushing the line. There's my gauge right there next to the uh, windshield wiper. And let's see what happens. So... There's my gauge, which I can see right there. I'll let my weight just start. It's about 60 degrees, I'd say, right out right now. It's actually warm. Lots of snow on the ground, but it's warm out. So let's see what happens. So I am seeing about, what is that? PSI right now. And as I rev it, pressure goes down. So, anyway, as it gets hot, I'm going to take another short video and see how it does. So, truck is warmed up. And, um,. So I've been watching the gauge as I've been driving along, and um, so it's basically sitting at about 4 PSI um, at idle, and floored, it'll hit about 3. So, but it doesn't seem to drop below 3, so... That seems like... That's good, because that means there's a very small range of actual running PSI, which means that the timing's going to stay about consistent from idle to redline. So even though the pressure is a little low, I mean, I'd like it a couple PSI higher, maybe due to the filter, maybe due to the pump being worn out, there may be some restrictions in the fuel line, but it's consistent. So that's important to me. 